Now you don't have to be in wudu all the entire time you're in atikaf, but it is recommended to be so before you begin so that you're able to engage in prayers and, and Quran reading and such. Number two in the prerequisites is to choose a space in your home. And what I mean by that is it has to be one fixed, consistent place. So we can't jump from place to place or room to room. You would have to choose one room in your home or a portion of a room. And they say the minimum amount that you need is only as big as a prayer rug. And inshallah, at the end of this video, if you stick with us, I'll be able to show you the, a demo of how to actually do this and d demonstrate the, the rules here of Atikaf and how it's performed. But you would choose a portion of a room or a one room, one room. And if it's an entire room, then you would have um, the whole room from the door inward, the entire room counts. Or a portion of your room, for example, where you typically pray. So if you typically pray in your bedroom, maybe you put your prayer rug next to your bed. So that area would be your atikaf space. And it can be only as small as um, the prayer rug area or bigger as in a portion of the room. Number three, take everything you need with you before you start your